Hi, my name is Mike Rausch and I'm the co-founder of Gaijin Games. I'd like to take a couple minutes out today to share with you our pipeline that was made by Chris Meyer. Chris Meyer, Chris Meyer. I also want to show the differences that we have between Runner 1 and Runner 2 and why you should care. What's a chunk? A chunk is basically a model. We build tiles from chunks and we build collision and other things from it. So Runner 2 is a tile-based game like the first one. Uh, we have tiles here, this is the entire tile set for the game. Um, this is all the designers have to work with. They build levels with that and they give them to us, the art team, and we get stuff like this, which is just a simple collision. In Runner 1, we pretty much would extrude that and be done with it. In Runner 2, we have a chance to make it a lot more beautiful and a lot more complex. There is a plugin called Layout Tools, and what it does is it organizes all your models that you've previously made and helps you reference them in really easily. Here is a platform, and if we build a lot of platforms next to each other, we start getting a level. After we have all of our main running collision, there's other stuff here too. Here are some pipes I have already constructed using all these pieces here. And after that, you pretty much have a basic tile. So in Runner 1, this is basically where we stopped uh, at, the, at the basic tile. Um, we would save that out, export it to the game, and the game engine would take over from there. Here's our loaded level into mine, using just our basic tiles, nothing really fancy yet. So once we load up the level into Maya from our import script, it's no longer a tile-based system in the traditional sense. Once it's in here, it's pretty much a huge list of reference files. Um, we use tiles to make it easy to build an entire level really quick. Runner 1, we had the same tiles repeating over and over. Um, runner 2, we could do a lot more. Since importing them, they're just references. It's all the same collision, it'll still work. What's good about Runner 2 is we can swap some out, we can build our own. Here I'm going to replace the railing on one of these tiles with a similar but damaged railing. You basically have the same tile, same collision, it just looks a little different. Here I'm adding some tall beams. Again you'll see like the actual surface is still the same. So it will work with any collision I have. I have some preset tile chunks, uh, pipe chunks. Now that we have the foreground area pretty much the way we want it, we can start adding backgrounds. Usually the first thing we add is a ground. We have mountains and all this other fancy stuff. Now we export and get it into the game. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of how we get our art into the game. So that's about it. That's our art pipeline. I hope you enjoyed the process. Continue to come to Runner2.com for more information. And pick up a copy of Runner2 on PSN, XBLA, Wii U, PC, Mac, or Linux. Have a great day.